Hi, and welcome to Smoke Training. In this part 8 of the Connect Effects series, we'll show you how to save a series of effect nodes to use again later. We'll look at the process of saving the nodes, how to restore the nodes, and some useful tips when saving these effects. When it comes to creating a visual style and effects for a project you're working on, after you create the look, you'll need to be able to work efficiently by quickly recreating effects multiple times throughout your edit. Quite often when you apply an effect that you've saved previously, you may want to only apply a certain part of the effect. Connect Effects allows you to save a selection of nodes as a kind of an effect preset. Right, let's jump straight into Connect Effects and show you how you can easily save a series of effect nodes that can be recalled and modified as required. Here we have an effect that we have built using a series of effect nodes. Part of the effect here deals with adding a stylized look to the image, and this part of the node tree is for building a title. Perhaps what we want to do here is just save off the part of the effect flow that deals with creating the text. Inside of Connect Effects, that can be easily done. Start by drawing a selection around just the nodes you wish to save. Do this by holding down the Command key as you drag. Now when you drag on any of the selected nodes, they all move as one. Make sure the node view is present by pressing the keyboard shortcut Control tab Over here on the right is a special node bin that enables us to store effects at either the user or project level. All we need to do is drag the selected nodes into the bin. In our case, let's save it to the user folder so that we have access to it no matter what project is currently loaded. As you can see, a single node has appeared in the bin. This single node now represents the multiple nodes that were dragged down into this bin. However, notice the name of the node. Smoke will name this collection of nodes based on the actual node you drag down. For example, with the group of nodes still selected, drag the text node down to the user bin to save the effect again. The node that appears here will now take on the name of the node we had clicked on when we dragged the items down. There is no ability to rename the node here. So what we need to do is rename a node first before we save the effect. Simply click on a node and over here to the right of the timeline playback controls, you'll see the name of the node. Select the text and retitle it to something more appropriate. Keep the title short though as longer titles will appear truncated in the effect bin. Now when you drag the selection of nodes to be saved, choose the node which you retitled as it will now give you a name that better describes the effect. Restoring this series of effect nodes is quite simple. Simply drag the node up into the ConnectFX workspace. You will now see the series of nodes in the exact same way as you saved them. All you need to do now is reconnect any of the nodes as required to complete the ConnectFX flow. Now here's a useful tip. You can save all of your custom effects into a particular bin. For example, we can save a number of text-related effects here into our user folder. What we can then do is save this user folder as a separate item. Click the Save button below and choose Save User Bin. Now if we name this as something clear such as Smoke Text Effects, now we can save several different custom effect bins and recall each one as required. To change between the different custom effect node bins that you have saved, choose the Load button here and in our example select Load User Bin. Smoke will ask you to confirm because it will clear the bin first and then load the custom node effects. Just select a custom node bin you created and it will be instantly restored. This is a great way of saving effects or parts of effects that you build very often as restoring them again is as simple as dragging on a single node into the Connect Effects workspace. That brings to a close part 8 of this series, introducing Smoke 2013's visual effects compositing environment, Connect Effects. Thank you for watching. In our next episode, we'll take a look at how to go about creating masks in Connect Effects using the G-Mask effect node. Creating and modifying masks is a very common task in creating effects, so join us as we cover all the basics you need to know to get you up and running and confidently using masks in Smoke 2013.